Hey guys, what's up? This is Shori from eGadgets for you. And in this video, actually, this particular video is for the my fellow uh, YouTubers or the fellow YouTube creators. Uh, if you have received this particular mail that asks you to update your tax info in your Google AdSense account, so this video is particularly for you. Actually, in this video, I'll show you what to do and how to do in this particular steps. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Before starting on with the steps and showing you step by step how to do each and everything to update your tax info in a Google AdSense account, I thought of actually discussing this particular point with you. What does this particular mail mean? Actually, recently there has been an update in the tax info of US government. And according to that law, if you are earning money from US, I mean to say if you are earning money if any sources from United States through YouTube, whether you are residing in any country whatsoever, whether you are actually not a resident of US also, but if you are earning any part of your revenue from US through YouTube. Let me be more specific with a particular example. Like for example, in a month you are earning $1,000 and out of that $1,000, $100 you are earning from people who watch your videos from US, then you are actually liable to pay tax or for from now onwards, actually YouTube will deduct 24 to 30% of your earning that you are earning from people watching your videos from US, that is United States. Now, uh, with updating this tax info, you have to update this particular thing by 31st of May 2021. And if you update your tax information correctly, then this particular tax will be reduced to a slab of 15%. And in some scenarios, it will also be reduced to 0%. Now, this can also be applied in a certain way. Like for example, if you're residing in India, then with Indian government and US government, they have a pact with the tax information and tax upgradations. So in certain scenarios, you are liable to have a discount of up to 0% also if you are earning money from US citizenship through YouTube or US people from YouTube rather to say. Now for example if you are earning like say for example $1000 a month and $100 is a revenue that you are earning from people watching your videos from, uh, from US so that particular revenue can be deducted to a tax exemption of 15% to 0% if you update your tax information correctly. So let's get to it and find out how to do that. So yes, I have changed my camera angle and I will show the screen recording and also I'll talk to, through you to this particular video. Now, uh, as I was saying in this mail, I have uh, actually got this particular mail which asks me to update my tax informations to uh, validate with the YouTube earnings. So to do that, I have to go to Google AdSense. So I am going to Google AdSense over here. Uh, typing Google AdSense over here I'm going to the first link signing in and uh, here as you can see that this particular uh, section this particular pop-up will come and it says manage tax info so I have to click on that particular section and yes uh, in certain scenarios of the video I will block uh, certain portions for security purposes so that yes as you can know that yeah I have to hide my personal information but yes this will actually give you an idea what to do and what not to do now as you can see over here to get payouts from Google make sure that you provide your tax information this will take a few minutes so add tax info now starts information now over here if you are using a corporate account or a current account then you have to uh, select non individual or entity but for my particular account this particular account actually it, it belongs to my wife's account so yeah it will be an individual account over here uh, click on next and are you a citizen or resident of the united states if yes you have to click yes but i'm not so i'll go ahead and select no that is the purpose of this particular video for people outside us how to do that now over here it will ask you for the form type this is very important because if you have selected individual over here then you have to go ahead and select the first form over here but if you are using a current account or a non-individual entity account then the second form but since i'm uh, i have selected individual so i'll go ahead with the first form start filling up the form over here and yes the name of the individual will appear uh, by itself over here and over here the second field that says dba doing business as name or disregarded entity now currently like i have said that if you are actually going for a current account uh, or you have a current account associated with your adsense account then you have to enter that particular field but then again it's an optional field so i'll leave it as it is uh, like that so citizenship i'll put india you can put your country over here as uh, well 
Now, this is very important. Foreign TIN and US ITIN. Now, since I am not a resident of US and I do not have a US ITIN number, so I have to select the foreign TIN number over here. Now, I have to show you certain thing. Now, for example, TIN is a taxpayer identification number. For Indian people, you can go ahead and add your PAN card over here. The PAN number can serve as your TIN number for this particular scenario. For uh, So, I'll just... Uh, block this particular field and I'll give uh, put in my PAN number over here actually my wife's PAN number over here and after doing that click on next and then it will ask you to uh, enter your permanent address over here and so I'll go ahead and add, uh, add my addresses over here again I'll block this particular view for security purpose and of course my postal address will be the same as a permanent residence address so I'll select this particular checkbox after I've entered the address and if not if both the scenarios are different for you then you have to select both the scenarios and fill them up as it comes along okay let me go ahead and do that okay it's done so i'll click on next then now here is a very important thing the tax treaty us has a tax treaty with india you have to check it uh, from your country also that whether your country does have a tax treaty with us government or not but yeah since i am from india i will select yes are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding yes that is the whole purpose of this particular thing that i have to reduce the tax uh, that they will charge from my income uh, from us source so yes i'll select resident of country claiming the treaty with us i'll go ahead and select india over here again and if your country has a treaty with us uh, regarding the tax treaty so yeah your country will show up over here and over here you have to select for which services you want to uh, avail the special rates or avail the tax deductions and all so i will select uh, the service of adsense select this article 7 paragraph 1 withholding rate will be zero percent like i've told you since india has a tax treaty with us so yes for article 7 paragraph 1 regarding to services of accents the withholding rate will be reduced to zero percent you have to check this particular thing it says that you are a tax resident of the country identified since i have identified my country as india so yes i'm a tax resident of india and uh, I am not actually performing any services whatsoever based in US or uh, I am not having any office whatsoever in US. So yeah, I am selecting this particular thing and also for motion picture and TV, you select that, select article 12, paragraph 282, withholding rate, it has to be 15%, like I've told that, yeah, it will not deduct 30%, but rather 15%. Yes, again, you have to select this uh, checkbox and other copyright materials also you have to select article 12 and paragraph 282 with a withholding rate of 15 percent instead of 30 percent and again check this particular box click on next and wait for it okay so this is the thing it's a document preview over here you can click on this particular document and it will open in a new tab this particular document you can go through this particular thing that whether each and everything has you have entered is correct or not yes name of the individual country address uh stuffs like that country taxpayer identification number tin number uh each and everything is actually correct over here so yes i'll go back to this particular tab again i confirm that i've reviewed the generated tax document to the best of my knowledge and belief they are true correct and complete so select this checkbox click on next and you will be done oh sorry uh, not yet done my bad uh, uh, it asks for your signature the full legal name yes uh, you have to enter that over here and yes are you the person listed in the signature section yes I'm the person in the signature section and I'm completing this form on my own behalf uh, of course it's my wife but yeah she is actually over here I'm doing it for the sake of the video so yes I am I am authorizing it click on next uh, now it asks that has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the US? No, we have not no such establishment within US. So yes, it will be a no. Uh, certify the services provided by Google or the affiliates will be performed solely outside the US and that any labor or capital uh, facilities to provide the services will be physically located outside the US. Yes, of course. Uh, we are actually making videos from uh, India, both my wife and me. She has a cooking channel that says Cook with Shonali and I have a tech channel that says e-gadgets for you. 
So yes, are you providing the tax info of a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payment profile that are previous received payments. Now, for our scenario, I have to select the second option because I have already received payments previously. So yes, I'll opt for this. But if it is your first uh, scenario or a new enlistment that you are going for, then you have to provide, select the first one. I'm pro okay. So uh, the second under penalties, pressure declare that information certification contained here remains the same and unchanged except as provided below from 1st January 2020 until the present and be true, correct and complete for that time. I have to select that and yes, no changes optional. Uh, this is an option field. If you want any changes, I don't want any changes whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and submit. And yes, so you see uh, this particular form comes United States tax info. It says approved, uh, submitted and of course, um, uh, submitted on per 10th March 2021, submitted by Shonal Bomik and uh, stuff like that, each and everything over here. So it's done. So yeah, that will be it. These are the steps that you have to follow. But remember that you have to fill up the form minutely and correctly, no false information whatsoever. Hope so this video was helpful. If you have liked it, consider liking and sharing with your friends and families. Do stay subscribed, turn on the notification bells and Stay updated with all the latest videos happening in eGadgets for you. That will be it for this particular video. Bye for now.